Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Grumpy's Now podcast. When the news is made up, my opinion does not matter. I am your host, Jonathan Snyder. Thank you for joining me as I try to squeeze two minutes of information into a 15-minute video. Uh, there's a great share for you today. I mean, not here. I don't have a great share for you today, but I'm sure there's one out there somewhere. Uh, if you like these videos, make sure you click the like button. Uh, share these videos and also subscribe to the channel. Any questions or comments can be put in the comment section down below. I do respond to comments and criticisms even if they aren't in the comment section. I upload a video every Sunday at noon and possibly you may see a short every now and then. I do put those up uh, just to let you know what's going on. So always make sure you check back to the channel. I do have a merch store. So if you are interested, make sure you check that link in the description box down below. Today, I want to discuss the purpose of these podcasts. I know I know it's kind of odd to be trying to do this when I'm almost completely already done like 50 episodes, I believe. Uh, but I think it's necessary because I've gotten some questions. Uh, there are also events that take place in life that change circumstances uh, that allow or impede my ability to produce a certain type of show. Uh, when I began my YouTube channel over a decade ago, I just wanted a place... Uh, that I could put my projects that I was creating in college. Uh, I needed a made-up production company uh, to facilitate the slates that were on my projects, hence SOB Studios. Uh, you can purchase the merchandise down below. Except for this hat. This hat is exclusive. I'm the only one that, the only one that got it. Uh, I had to move a lot of work uh, due to copyright infringement on the channel. So uh, on my channel, there's a lot of stuff that I did in college that you will have to go look elsewhere to find. But it can be found. It's out there. Uh, uh, you have a fair use license to use for stuff for educational purposes. But because of the YouTube policies, they throttle you with uh, monetization. So... Like I said, I had to move that stuff. So after college, I uh, needed to decide what to do with the channel. Uh, now, a successful YouTube channel requires a few things. Uh, first, it obviously requires a specific genre of content. Is your uh, channel a news channel? Is it a vlog channel? Is it a music channel? Are you camping? Are you doing bushcraft? Are you doing home improvement work? Are you making movies, short films, and skits? And I myself ended up doing all these, which doesn't bode well at all for a successful channel. Uh, second, a successful channel has to produce content consistently. Are you going to upload once a week? Like I'm currently trying to do. Uh, are you going to upload multiple times a week? Like uh, some you know famous news type shows do. Are you doing it once a month? It can be any time, uh, as long as you are consistent, knowing that you know you're going to get paid depending on how many videos you're putting out. Uh, so the more you upload, the more creator will earn through monetization. Now, at first, I posted randomly because you know it was difficult to develop content that I could produce consistently. Uh, even my current podcasts that I produce right now, like this one you're listening to is uh, interdispersed with vlog stories, shorts, all kinds of stuff. So, you know, that's an issue. Lastly, the content needs to be of good quality. So this not only includes your HD camera, your nice lights, your microphone, uh, it also includes actual quality content that you're putting out. So I have all these things, uh, so that's you know that's a plus. I've also you know I've got I've got some nice stuff. So the question is, if I have the equipment to make uh, good content, and I can upload consistently, <laughs> if I can upload consistently, uh, you know, which is currently every Sunday at noon, that video drops. <clears throat> With working a day job, 10 hours a day, uh, the only content that I can upload is 
the podcast like I'm uploading right now. So, what is my podcast about? Or what would my podcast be about? Uh, when I started doing the podcast, I think it was two years ago now, uh, I decided to go through current events. Actually, on the very first podcast, I made a drink. I also spend a lot of time rambling. There's a lot of dead air, which, you know, is a no-no in the, in the industry. So I decided to go through current events, search the news headlines, be them locally or nationally, and just like what was going on in life. And now this caused a few problems. Uh, YouTube, and to a larger scale Google, uh, decided that during the COVID pandemic, uh, they were going to be the arbiter of truth, uh, regardless of the fact that they have no authority to do so. Uh, this also extended to the 2020 election. Anyone who decried, quote, election denial was deemed a spreader of misinformation and subsequently canceled or deplatformed or at the very least demonetized. This always seemed kind of odd to me considering that ever since 2000 and the election of George W. Bush, citizens have questioned the elections. Remember the hanging chads. You may not be. You may not be quite old enough to remember those, but I do. Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> Google and YouTube have very recently changed this policy. I will allow you to be the judge as to why that happened. I myself have also had to deal with uh, so-called arbiters of truth. In my podcast episode number 35... Uh, when I dared to question, merely question, you know, I was just asking questions. Uh, the likes of Big Farmer, the medical, the so-called medical experts. Uh, you know, my channel was hit with a strike. Uh, you will need to visit my channel on Rumble, uh, if you wish to hear what my egregious mistakes were. Uh, so I was faced with a conundrum. If I were to continue to just read news or discuss current events, I could lose my channel. So I decided to head to my vets and start, you know, uploading on Rumble as I did. Uh, and that 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 one episode was when I started, as well as uh, YouTube here to prepare for the invariable ban from civilized society. And that ban will come. It is coming uh, because I will not stop speaking to truth. But we can no longer continue with short-term memories. Uh, just this past week, I read an article in which the CDC recommends wearing N95 masks no more than one hour at a time due to uh, CO2 buildup. I remember it wasn't that long ago that the CDC recommended that we wear these things all day. I pulled 10 and 12-hour shifts where I was required to wear this thing. Have you ever wore a mask in a freezer? Do you know what happens when you do wear a mask in a freezer? Let me tell you what happens. Your breath condenses on the mask. It quickly becomes clogged with moisture. Where if it was cold enough, it freezes. The falling sensation, I believe, would best be compared to being waterboarded. And we were required to wear these while doing intense physical activity in a freezer. This is what the CDC recommended. This is what OSHA required. All this while the, quote, good Republican politicians, such as Governor Jim Justice, said to wear your damn mask. I will not forget, I will not let you forget, and I will not be silenced. This past week, I believe The uh, Intercept released a new story that, once again, added credibility to the lab leak theory, the COVID-19 virus. Two members of the lab were identified as some of the first cases of the virus in late 2019. Now, a lot of people, including yours truly, have believed this to be the case for a while now. I mean, look what John Stewart said. But why do the, quote, experts push against this? Uh, some think it's to avoid a rise in xenophobic behavior, you know, toward China. 
I mean, that would make them responsible for the, the pandemic, correct? Not quite. While China was responsible for the location of the lab. I mean, were they really responsible for the location of the lab? They weren't even funding this research. We are. The U.S. funds this type of research. Still, you know, I said this once before on podcasts. Even after causing a pandemic that killed tens of millions, maybe even hundreds of millions of people, they continue to fund this type of research. In defense of the administration, you know, we need this type of research to be able to stop pandemics. And it's working out swimmingly so far. Also, something that happened this past, well, two weeks now, Tucker Carlson released, or has been releasing, what he has called uh, episodes to his new show, which he decided to release on Twitter. Now, I know I'm bringing up Tucker Carlson again, but, you know, it's for good reason this time. The show, so far, has been an episodic release of monologues. And I bring this up because... That's my show. That, that That's what I want in my podcast to be. You know, a 10 to 15 minute monologue of well put together thoughts. <laughs> well put together. Well put together thoughts. Uh, while some news is discussed, it isn't a news show. There's, It's not, it, that's not what it is. And it's not, you know, labeled as that. It's not supposed to be that. It's an opinion on the current state of society and culture. Now, Tucker Carlson himself is a wealthy man with a lot of time on his hands now, you know, since he's not out at Fox News. And so far, the show has been decently well written. The monologues, I mean, that's what they are. Uh, So, you know, I don't know if I personally can produce a show at that level. I mean, I don't have time or money. I have probably, you know, 16 hours total to do this. And... Again, no money. I'm part of the working class. But, you know, that's my goal. It's not an interview show. I'm not here to ask people questions. There's other shows that are out there doing that. I'm here to propose ideas. uh, And I hope you're interested in uh, hearing and listening to them. And I want you to share these ideas. Uh, we all become uh, better when we share our ideas and uh, propose them to each other and think about them. So I recommend, I recommend that you watch Tucker's videos. Uh, they're not that long; they're you know ten to fifteen minutes, uh, and I think at the moment they're kind of interesting. So going forward from here, uh, I hope to live up to that type of standard. The consensus is that the video should be shorter, so I'm trying to avoid that 20-minute thing. So, like this video here that you're listening to, I will shorten them up a bit. Try to make them more concise. Uh, I try to not be so wide shotgun spread. Uh, and, uh, you know, not only does that allow the quality to be better, but it's uh, shared more in the algorithm for as long as I'm here. I'm just trying to do what works. And I'm taking you along with me on the journey. So thanks for joining me. And if you're not sufficiently grumpy by now, then you're not paying attention. Because your 15 minutes are up, but the grumpy ramblings will continue. So make sure you tune in next week for another video. If you're wondering, today I'm drinking a little bit of uh, beer from the 1812 Brewery, local brewery here in Cumberland. Cumberland Brews Pell Ale. It's, you know, just strictly... Mm. It's a nice log. So, you know, if you like these videos, make sure you click the like button. Make sure you share these videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, tune in next Sunday for another video at noon. It will not be a podcast. I already have it in the can ready to go. I'll probably upload it after I upload this video. And uh, it will be released on Sunday. Make sure you watch out for the shorts. Probably start doing that more often i know i keep saying it but (laughs) i do think it'll happen Uh, also make sure you check out that merch store 
the designs are up they're selling and I got a couple more ideas that I'm throwing around so thank you ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining me good night god bless and godspeed